Zesties, I'm Michelle May and welcome to my channel Zesty Girl. Today's video is really exciting, it's about 10 simple ways to look 10 years younger over 40. And considering I'm almost 50, yeah, let's just say I want to be practicing a few of these. I'm excited! Okay, so we want to look and feel our best every day any of us really want to be dealing with aging. Once you hit 40 and once you hit 45 you notice things. You look in the mirror and what you're used to seeing it's just all changing. Your skin starting to get like whoa and your neck starting to go. Like you start getting hooded hooded things up here. Like your eyebrows in the mirror and I'm like why is my eyebrow going the wrong way? And then you get hairs. You get the mole hair like like and they can grow overnight like I can pull one out of here and it's back the next morning I mean like we it's get just grey, grey hair, we've got these ones on our hands, get your old flabby under here it's who doesn't want to look younger? Aging really sucks. We don't have to feel like we're aging, we can feel great because I really think zestiness and youth comes from the inside out. Just be as young as you want to be. I think looking 10 years younger is about being more vibrant and, and acting with passion and acting with excitement and being involved and shining from the inside out. So here are my 10 simple tips on how to look 10 years younger. Okay, tip number one, own your style. What does that mean? Hair, clothes, makeup, own it. Whatever it is that you love to wear, how you love to look, just own it, feel confident in it. I've always been one of those people that goes, right, this year I'm gonna wear more skirts, I'm gonna be much more vibrant. You know, I'm gonna get my hair cut every three months and I'm gonna make sure I wear all this makeup every day and look fantastic. But no, that's not what I do at all. My hair, my hair gets nothing. This just gets washed and that's it, that is it. And that's me, it's always been me. So, here, no. I like to sort of either dress woo-woo or dress jeans and a t-shirt and pretty conservative. That's me. Makeup, hmm, I've been doing my makeup the same way since I was about 16. So there is not anything that goes into that that is that works. And I watch some YouTube videos by some women that are like over 50. They've got the primer and they've got contouring and they've got all this gorgeous stuff going on. And I've, I've bought a few things and I've been giving it a go, but it's just not my thing. Tip is to own your style. So just go, you know what, it's been, for me, it's been 48 years. It's how I feel comfortable. I feel good in these clothes and this is what I wear. So just go, yes, own it. And then when you own it, you'll just love it. Love it. Okay, tip number two, sunscreen. Now, as our hands get older, um, the, this, this is all getting older and everything. I just think sunscreen's a really good idea. So just slap it everywhere. Like just get that sunscreen out and slap it on. No, seriously, I buy um, a moisturizer. It has a sunscreen in it, a really good sunscreen in it. And when I put it on my face in the morning, I rub a bit on my hands and there and up there and everything. So yeah, sunscreen. Tip number three, teeth. Okay, so one way to look younger is to make sure your teeth haven't got too many yellow stains on them. And I know this just sounds gross, but you know, you can tell a person's age if they've got yellow teeth. It just looks like they're older. And I'm trying to work on mine at the moment. And I feel like I'm not just now, so you can see. There are so many products out there to whiten your teeth. You've got charcoal, you've got coconut oil, you've got baking soda, and you've got all these amazing toothpaste and everything. None of them work. Well, I haven't found one that works yet. But I'm gonna keep trying, and I'm making some sort of progress. Um, and I'll let you know if I do. I think if you can sort of try and work away at, um, you know, if you've drunk coffee or you, well, you know if your teeth aren't like quite the color or go to the dentist and get them to do their shebang thing because I think, yeah, I think yellow teeth, I think that can be quite aging and if you can get them whitened up a bit, I think more gorgeous, more younger looking. Tip number four, moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. Now, after 40, after 45, your skin just does things like you can have a late night and it gets all dry and you can um, get stressed and it gets all dry it just it just wants to get dry it just wants to get ugh. and it's just misbehaves in so many ways so my recommendation is moisturize this baby just moisturize it so what I do this is my big beauty tip 
What I do in the morning is I have a vitamin E oil. So when I get up in the morning early, I put the oil in my hands and I rub it all over my neck and just on the bottom of my face. And then I just sit with that for a couple of hours. And that's really, really great. And I just find that that, especially with your neck starting to go, I just find that that really helps throw the moisture straight back into your skin and it absorbs and then I'm ready to put my moisturizer on. And it's really, really worked. Tip number five is be positive. I'm just all about positivity. Be positive, go out there. See, I think these are the things that really make us look youthful. Someone that's out there radiating positivity and they're positive in their attitude to life and they're positive in their conversations and they're positive with helping others and they show empathy and they're, they're just a lovely, kind person. Yeah, I really think positivity really is youthful. I, you know, someone that's down and overwhelmed and negative and blah, yeah, I'm not sure that they're looking youthful. I think positivity makes you look like sunshine. Hmm. Tip number six, have dreams, have goals. And that's what Zesty Girl is about. It's about us at this age going, yes, I know I have maybe children, busy careers, busy home lives, relationships, aging parents. We have all these things going on. We have these crazy households. We've got so much that we're trying to juggle. What are we here for? What's our purpose? What are our goals and dreams? Do we want to start a course, a new hobby, go running with a friend? Do we want to have coffee? Do we want to go on a trip? What do we want to do? We've got to rediscover what we want to do and we've got to make that important. So we need to have goals and dreams. We really need to have goals and dreams. And I've got a quote here. Right. This is from C.S. Lewis who says, you are never too old to set another goal or to dream a new dream. I love that. I just love it. Right. Tip number seven is exercise. We all need to be doing some sort of exercise, and then we all know that. Whether it's walking, or walking your dog, or um, yoga, or dancing, that's what I like to do, dancing, and sport, we could be going to the gym, hiking, whatever it is, exercise. We all need exercise at this age, and it will make us more youthful, it will make us fitter, healthier. We need exercise. Exercise, find what you love, and start doing it. Number eight. You probably notice that as you get older, just don't get away with as much. Like you used to be able to have five hours for a night if you've been out or whatever, and you used to be able to bounce out of bed the next morning and just do your thing. But as we get older, yeah, the body's not as forgiving. Like you'll get the dark rings under your eyes and your skin won't be as nice and you'll just look. I think we need our sleep. So what I try and do is I try and create a habit for sleep so that I know that I go to bed at a certain time and I wake up at a certain time. And seven hours sleep is what I need and that's what I try and aim for because that's where I feel my best at seven hours. And sometimes I like a sleep and sometimes I love a bit of an eight hours or nine hours, but generally speaking, seven hours is great. Work out how much sleep you need. Tip number nine is to de-stress. We often live such hectic lives and we get overwhelmed and we get stressed and we get so busy. So to find ways that de-stress you and to really make them a priority in your life is really, really important. What de-stresses you? Is it listening to music? Is it going for a walk? Is it going for a long drive? Is it reading a book? There's so many ways that we can de-stress and we're all different and we all like different things. So I really recommend finding your special way to de-stress and put it in your week as priority so that you have it scheduled in, time for yourself, time to just de-stress and to, to do what you need to do. Just running from task to task, bouncing from one place to another. We're not living, we need to live, we need to stop, we need to breathe, we need to just be. But yeah, de-stress, find the time to de-stress because that also will be making you gorgeous. Okay, tip number 10, is take control of your health. We know that we need to be mindful of what we're eating. We also need to be in control of our health as far as we need to go to doctor's appointments for checkups and we need to go to the dentist. I'm a health coach, but you know, I know that you know that if you're not happy with your health or you're not happy with how you're feeling, if you're feeling tired all the time or you're overweight, without me saying anything, you probably know like five to 10 things that you could do this week that would improve your health. Eat what you love, make food that you love, and make eating enjoyable, and 
Be mindful of your responsibility to your health. Find what works for you. It's about looking good from the inside out. And I think what we eat really contributes um, to how we look as well. One thing about aging that I will say is talk about it. Like, let's not hide away from it. Like, let's just talk about it. So that's my 10 simple tips on how to look 10 years younger. And as I've said, I'm like, I'm just a work in progress. So these were just my ideas. These are things that I really believe when I look at people and I think, oh, she looks young for her age. It's because of how she is. It's because of how she comes across as a person. It really is about what she radiates, whether you can tell she's just loving life. That's what inspires me. If you've got any comments or you've got some ideas of your own, please share in the comments below. As always, please subscribe. If you want notifications, you can hit the bell button too. Until next time. See you later. Bye.